Hello, welcome to another edition of the Men's Room Arcade. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Today we have three machines lined up that are just completely unique and only here in Washington State. That's Seattle. Okay, so what's happened is that uh, I have a series of cabinets which came in from uh, Tokyo. And if you can tell, they are extremely cool. They come with a uh, bench seat, a uh, linoleum finish, competition joysticks, and uh, some really great buttons to boot. So let's go ahead and go through them. This one plays classics uh, like Blaster, Robotron, Defender. All right, the next one here is pretty awesome. And what it does is it plays a lot of the uh, horizontal fight games. There's 619 in one uh, horizontal games. And then if you hit the switch down here, let's see if we can get to it. Then it will switch over to Miss Pac-Man. Yeah, that's right. Pretty cool, huh? Miss Pac-Man along with 60 other classic games. All right, so moving right on down the line. This is a special uh, console. It is Sega, and it's uh, a multi-game all in one. So let me show you how this works. Uh, over on this side, we have a on-off button, which throws us into the other menu. And this plays things like Stargate Defender. It's 19 of the Williams Classics. It has Joust. Uh, let's see what else is down here. Bubbles. That's an easy one to play. Blaster, Splat, uh, Rally X, Battle City, Mario Brothers. That's cool. And then it also has Ghost and Goblins, which is a fun thing. Rally X 2, the new Rally X. And then it has Solomon's Key. That's a lot of fun. Uh, let's make our way through the menu. It's Gradius, and then we have Super Mario Brothers. Totally awesome. And then there's just a, a multitude of games. There's 19 in here, so it's pretty awesome. You know, if you want to hit one, you can go ahead and start it. It says push one player. It starts, right? But if I want to go back and play Virtua Tennis, I've now switched over. And the way I do that is that over the years, I've collected a, a pretty wild collection of uh, games. And uh, what I'm going to do is show you how this works. So in the garage here, I've got it set up. I'm going to go ahead and load a different uh, game. So over here on the menu system, I have a ton of ROMs, and it just flashes it into it. So uh, just to show you kind of some of the ROMs I have, I have been collecting cartridges for just quite some time now, so check this out. There's just a whole slew of them right there. You know, it just goes on and on and on. So then uh, if we make our way over here, we'll see that Burning Casino is now loading. All right, so... We've covered all three games and what they do. And uh, these are all multicades, right? So they have like 400 plus games. And uh, this one has as high as I think like 700 games. It's pretty cool. I mean, uh, you can tell it's, you can just pivot. We just pivot the uh, monitor. It's covered in other videos on our channel. But uh, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and switch back over to the uh, horizontal side. And uh, here's one, Marvel vs. Capcom, the classic superheroes, or clash of superheroes. So it's going to go ahead and load it. And uh, as we can tell, Rally X has popped up over there on, on this one, a little bright. Check it out. There we go. Okay. Now Marvel vs. Capcom is loaded. Pretty awesome. And then we're loading Virtual Tennis at the same time. So basically this arcade has over a thousand games in it. It's my personal collection. I hope you really enjoy it. We have just a ton of things. Miss Pac-Man, Pac-Man, Donkey Kong is in here, uh, along with the classic fights. I mean, you can't get better than, than an arcade like that. Uh, this one's still loading. We're on the second reboot. So we'll mark it all the way down. And we'll see what happens when I press the start button. Oh, this is a big time fighter game. You gotta have this one. And we're still loading the burning casino. Whoa. All right, so making our way on down. Let's see what's going on over here. And we're in demo mode. We're gonna talk about Battle City. It's a tank game. Uh, I've played it. It's pretty fun, actually. You uh, shoot through barriers and walls as a tank and you battle multiple tanks at one time. So they uh, change the maze up on each one and then you sort of fire at each other and protect the eagle. That way, when they get to your base, then the eagle is your base. When they get to the base, then pretty much the game is over for that life. All right, so we'll just check out what's going on down here. It looks like we have something. Oh, look at that. A little bit of blackjack. Let's see. So if I want to play, 
and you can just play your heart's desire. Okay. So this one's in Japanese. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> all right. Now I can bet. I can insert coins, and I can do all kinds of stuff like that. Let's see. I think I can. There we go. Now I got some credits in. Credits are always good. You can actually set this on free play, but I have a credit button, which is kind of cool. If you can read that, then guess what? You can read the third alphabet in Japanese. All right, so back to Marvel vs. Capcom. We've got a credit in here. Let's go ahead and pop it off. Select my heroes, select my partners. Turbo is always good. Okay, pretty easy to understand. All right, so we can load other games inside of this, Virtua Tennis and, and all those, but how it works is based on this computer. Woo, that was kind of a fast turnaround. Uh, and so pretty much what happens is you uh, can play this, the vertical and the horizontal Sega games. And the way you do that is the pivot system again on the monitor. So what happens is this uh, bezel, which I've custom made, I've got two of them. I'll show you how this works. Pop this off. All right, so that's gone. And what we do is you can actually take the monitor out and turn it sideways. So see, you can kind of see, I don't know if we can get the light in there. There we go. You can see there's a custom mount. But anyway, you lift this monitor up, and we've covered it in other videos. So I hope you can uh, notice that I have a classic arcade. Oh, one more thing. You can convert all of these, and I've done it. I'll do it in a future video where it plays Derby Owners Club. <laughs> so not only do you get a thousand games, you also get a great Derby Owners Club because each one of these is enabled with a magnetic card reader. That's right. One, two, and of course we have three magnetic card readers. That's what it takes to run the, the Ultimate Arcade. I hope you really have enjoyed it. If you have any questions, post them in the comments and uh, we shall talk with you later. Thanks for watching this edition of The Men's Room Arcade.